Fractures Repaired with Gold The Bible says in Psalm 107, verse 2, Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. God is still speaking to us about the power of our own personal stories and how the scars of our past are like beautiful treasures. Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, places his hand on the gaping wounds of our hearts and transforms the wounds into beautiful scars. Healing is what he does, telling others about his healing powers in our lives is what we should do and it is what he longs for us to do that is how others will recognize his son there is power in our stories there are stories within our stories and we recognize jesus through our scars we reflect on the purpose of our scars Every broken-hearted event, every tear, every defeat, every mistake has a purpose. And we find redemption of our pain by investing in others. We find that if we have gone through everything that we have gone through to help other people, it was truly worth it. As we come to God and seek the Lord in prayer, seek the Lord in his presence, seek the Lord and just cuddle underneath his love and allow him to heal us, allow ourselves to be vulnerable in front of the Lord, vulnerable and open our hearts to the only open heart surgeon that we can truly trust and can truly trust with our scars. We receive grace and forgiveness in our open scars, in our broken hearts. The wounds become scars by the love of God, by the paternity that we have been called to adoption as sons and daughters we can now feel safe to remove the mask and be real we can now be safe in our vulnerabilities in the presence of the lord because he will not judge us he will not make us feel condemned or ashamed or guilty our god is a god that He came to this world and he walked among us and he became us so that he would free us from the shame, the guilt, and the condemnation of the slavery of sin. And my friends, I always speak the truth and you deserve the truth in these Bible studies. There are consequences to our sins. So I propose and I encourage you to seek the Lord today to find his healing, his mercy, his grace, and his forgiveness as you repent, as you turn around, as you go the other way and leave the sinful life behind you and seek a higher ground. Seek the high life, the Christ life, the only life that will satisfy you, that will give you peace, that will give you joy, that will prosper your mind, your souls, your emotion, your, that will prosper you in every area of your life, not only in your finances, because sometimes we don't understand why our money is so funny, why there is more month than money. But as we come to the Lord, we come to realize where we're lacking, where we're failing, and we bring it all to him. And he, as we follow him, he rebuilds our life. He rebuilds our finances. He rebuilds our relationships, our family. He rebuilds us from the inside out. 
Five centuries ago in Japan, a lavish technique emerged for repairing broken ceramics. Artisans began using lacquer and gold pigment to put shattered vessels together. This tradition, known as kintsugi, meaning golden seams or golden repair, was born. Kintsugi is the Japanese art of putting broken pottery pieces back together with gold. Built on the idea that in embracing flaws and imperfections, you can create an even stronger, more beautiful piece of art. Every break is unique. And instead of repairing an item like new, the 400-year-old technique actually highlights the scars as part of the design. Using this as a metaphor for healing ourselves teaches us an important lesson. Sometimes in the process of repairing things that have been broken, we actually create something more unique, beautiful, and resilient. We are better with our golden scars. We are better with our scars. How re relevant is the message of Kintsugi in our lives today? Whether you're going through the loss of a loved one or the loss of a job or recovering from an injury or divorce or any other personal tragedy, Kintsugi can be a way of reframing hardships to remind ourselves that we are not victim of our circumstances and that we can come out on the other side much stronger and much better. We can come out shiny as gold. We can embrace the imperfect, meaning that we celebrate our strengths. This shift of mindset from striving for an, Im from an impossible ideal to embracing our strengths, valuing togetherness, helping us heal through the strength and the nourishment of friends and family is one of the most important things that we can do for our self-care, for our lives, so that we are effective, we are strong, we are healthy for others, for our families, for our friends, for the people that God puts in our paths to help. He, he puts us in a sphere of influence. But if we use our scars to become victims, to victimize others, to control and to manipulate, if we use our scars to remind people of how much we've suffered, if we use our scars to become prideful, to become angry, to become irate, to divide, to try and conquer, to if we use our scars in a negative way, then our scars didn't teach us much because in the pain, we develop a certain degree of compassion and we develop a degree of gentleness because we know that every scar, every event, every situation has a purpose. And as we are children of Christ, we trust in him and we know that everything works together for the good. Therefore, everything that we go through is in direct in the direct path of the purposes and the plans of God for our lives learning to be vulnerable will help us realize what is much needed in this life when we take care of ourselves we take care of our inner circles we learn to love ourselves and take care of the friends that God has put around us to help us walk this path called life, this journey. But our scars should help us to be vulnerable, not arrogant, not prideful, not living in shame, guilt, and condemnation, which makes us prideful, but giving it all to God, being vulnerable will allow us will bless us with the love of Christ for ourselves and for others. As we bring everything to Christ, we forgive others, we forgive ourselves, and there is a beautiful process that happens that in that process, we our scars will be 
the fractures of the scars will be repaired with gold the gold that Christ brings by his love his mercy the gold that God brings by the grace that allows us to be able to use our scars in a beautiful way coming out shiny as gold as we deepen our relationships we help us to be kind to ourselves as we as we allow a support system in our lives as we uh, have family and friends that truly understand us that that welcome us that our destiny helpers as we surround ourselves with people that love Christ that are in Christ we go out to the world to to impart Christ we don't sit with Christians only we can sit with the worldly people with the prostitutes and the thieves and the drug addicts to influence their lives not allowing them to influence us in a negative way deepening our relationships with people that are wise with people that that follow Christ that sit in, under the teaching of Christ that are the Marys of this world the ones that are seated at the feet of Jesus the ones that have received the revelation of the love of Christ and the paternity of Christ and have done away with religion have done away with the religious uh, practices of of men that have created this established religion with their with their doctrines that do not work they do not work but our scars were meant our wounds are meant to bring them to the Lord in healing so that he can heal us and those become beautiful beautiful scars that are repaired with gold the act of expressing gratitude for the good and the bad is an amazing practice when we realize that everything that we have is a gift from God we are able to heal faster and we become more resilient practicing gratitude is all about living in the present moment and not wishing for things that we do not have letting go of our ego and reframing our experiences so that we can rewire our brain to see the positive and let go of the negative gratitude is about the good and the not so good and giving thanks anyway everything happens for a reason and there is no difficult situation that comes our way without a purpose without growth the growth and the creation and the forming of our identity in Christ the formation of our character in Christ can only come by wounds and scars fractured yes but repaired by gold by Jesus wellness is all about the practice of resilience overcoming challenges and being a better version of ourselves with all of our golden cracks we are becoming better more resilient and more grateful individuals as we allow the Lord to seal the fractures of the cracks in our lives with his love with his hands and ultimately with his gold let us pray father god thank you so much my god we thank you for your presence we thank you for your spirit we thank you holy god for your son jesus he knows what it is to be wounded he knows what it is to be rejected and to be hated and to be and he knows he he recognized the haters god he knows what it is to walk this world and be wounded God and to bleed from your wounds he knows what it is God what it is to to suffer the wound of rejection and abandonment my father the wounds of lies and despisement my father your son knows all that and that is why he is our savior he is our healer 
He is the one that heals our broken hearts, my God. And with his hands, my Father, as creator of gold and silver, he heals our cracks. He repairs the imperfections in our vessel, my Father. With his gold, with his love, with his grace, his mercy, and his forgiveness. My Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you, Father God, that you have called us, my God, to be partakers of the revelation knowledge of the mystery of Christ. We believe, Lord God, and we have faith and we trust in your Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in our lives. God, in your Son's name, we pray today. Amen. If you like this message, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, also like and share. If you know of anyone that needs to hear a message like this, maybe they're depressed, maybe they're anxious or fearful, maybe they're struggling with a situation in their lives, send them a gift today, the gift of hope, the gift of encouragement. Thank you for listening to my messages. Have a blessed day.